Okay, so a lot of people will not be able to answer this math question without using a calculator, but that doesn't mean that you can't do this problem. Matter of fact, if you know the answer and the question here is the square root of the square root of 400, what is this equal to? Again, we're not going to be using a calculator. Go ahead and put your answer into the comment section if you know how to do this. And of course, I'm gonna show you the right answer in just one second and I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem. This is extremely important in terms of the things we're gonna be talking about in mathematics, okay? Dealing with square roots and this symbol in mathematics is also referred to as a radical. This is a must know math topic. All right, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so the square root of the square root of 400, what is the answer? Well, let's go to take a look at it right now. Okay, so we have two times the square root of five. This is the correct answer. So how did you do? Well, if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of radicals and square roots. Now, most of your family members will be like, well, that's nice for you, and to enjoy your math, I'm back to... Uh, watching Netflix. But uh, honestly, if you did get this right, you should have, uh, should feel uh, very proud of yourself because this indicates that you know a couple of very important properties of square roots. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. This is not that difficult. Now in mathematics, again, this symbol here is referred to as a square root, but it's also referred to as a radical. So for some of you that might be taking, let's say, like an algebra course, you might be wondering, where, what am I going to, or where in my course am I going to study this? Well, there's probably going to be a chapter or unit called radical expressions, radical uh, equations. So that's where you learn a lot about square roots and, of course, radicals, because you can have things like the cube roots of numbers or the fifth roots of numbers, et cetera, et cetera. But we're only going to be sticking to uh, square roots for this particular problem. And we're only going to be uh, talking about a few important properties of square roots. This is a big topic in math, but uh, let's just focus on this problem right now. Okay, so let me uh, show you a simple example uh, to illustrate a very important property with uh, when dealing with square roots. So let's take a look at something like the square root of 8. Okay, so we have this number 8. We're trying to find the square root of it. So what you can do in mathematics when you're dealing with square roots is you can look for factors of this number. Now, what are factors of a number? Well, let's take 8. What two numbers multiplied together uh, gets us back to 8? Well, how about 4 times 2, right? So 4 times 2 is 8. So let's think of 8 in terms of its factors, right? Or uh, any two factors. So we'll do 4 and 2. So instead of the square root of 8, let's think of this problem as the square root of 4 times 2. Now, there is a wonderful property in, with uh, dealing with radicals and square roots where we can break up this uh, big square root over these two factors into individual square roots. So we can write this as a square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Now, this is incredibly uh, advantageous because, look, now we can take the square root of 4. What's the square root of 4? Of course, that is 2. So our answer is going to be 2 times the square root of 2. This is what we want to do. We always want to simplify. So the key here is knowing something about uh, working with the factors of a square root or a, a number. We want to break it up into its factors and then try to simplify. Now, this worked out because uh, here, the square root of 8, one of the factors was 4. Okay, when you take the square root of 4, it's 2. So that's nice because we could we can take the square root of 4 without a calculator. So you want to look for numbers where we could take the square root of... Uh, these numbers without the aid of a calculator. And these are called perfect squared factors. Okay, we want to be looking for factors. Again, numbers that we could break up another number in, a particular, these are factors, four and two are factors of eight. We want to look for perfect square factors. And these are some examples of perfect squares. Okay, so we have four, nine, 16, 25, 36, and so forth. So these are the um, numbers that uh, specifically 
we're on the uh, basically lookout for in terms of factors of other numbers. This is the key to simplifying uh, uh, when it comes to square roots. So let's go ahead and get into this problem now. So here we have the square root of 400. Let's just focus on this part here. Let's just focus on the square root of 400. We'll get that answer, then we'll take the square root of whatever that's going to be. Okay, so the square root of 400, can you think of two factors, okay, of uh, 400 that are perfect squares? Well, obviously 400 we could break up as four times 100. And this is uh, particularly awesome because both of these factors are perfect squares. So here, for example, if you say, well, 400 is the same thing as 2 times 200, well, that's pretty good, but 2 and 200 are not perfect squares. So when you're looking at, it, when you're looking at a number, you want to be thinking about oh, what factors, uh, you know, does that number have a, a perfect square factor? Sometimes it has more than one, and there's other even um, approaches where you can take where you can kind of find one perfect square factor and then kind of continue to simplify. But this is a nice example where 400 we can easily write as 4 times 100. And now what we can do is break up uh, the square root of the two factors into two individual square roots. And this is the key. So we have the square root of 4 times the square root of 100. And of course, the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 100 is 10. So 2 times 10 is 20. Okay, so the square root of 400 is equal to uh, 20. So now our problem here Instead of the square root of the square root of 400, now we have the square root of 20 because we know that the square root of 400 is 20. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is to work on simplifying this. But before we do that, I would like you to hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. Now, I wouldn't stop this lovely uh, math video unless it wasn't that important for me to ask for your support. Okay, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over 2,000 videos. I love teaching mathematics, but my goal is to reach as many people as possible that can benefit from my math instruction, and uh, particularly those people that are really struggling in math or people just interested in math. If I can help more people, well, you know, that's what really, you know, is kind of a uh, uh, my, you know, my motivation, if you want to continue to go. So right now I have like almost 511,000 subscribers, which is crazy to me, but uh, I look at every subscriber as like a student of mine. So for those of you that are not subscribers, if you subscribe, I believe me, I will try to deliver the best math content I possibly can. So uh, anyways, let's get back to this video. Thanks for listening to me uh, blab here for a second, but this is important stuff. Okay. So let's get back to finishing this problem up. So really we have a problem within a problem. So our original problem was the square root of the square root of 400. We figured out that the square root of 400 is equal to 20. So now we have a new problem, the square root of 20. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Well, we need to do exactly what we did in the first uh, problem, which was of course the square root of 400. We need to look for perfect square factors. Now sometimes the uh, a number will have perfect square factors, sometimes it will not, okay? But if it does, you need to simplify. So the square root of 20, we can write this as what? Well, four times five, right? So 20, now uh, let's just take a look at uh, two other factors that would not help us out. So the square root of uh, 20 is also equal to the square root of two times 10. Now, two times 10 is 20, but 2 and 10, these factors are not really helpful because neither one of these here are perfect squares. So you want to try to get at least one perfect square if possible. So if we look at uh, 20 in terms of the factors of 4 and 5, we have 4 as a perfect square factor. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this up now. So we have the square root of 4 times 5, which of course is the square root of 20. Now we could break up this one big square root into two individual square roots. So the square root of 4, of course, is 2 and the square root of 5 is simply just the square root of uh, square root of five, and here is as uh, simple as we can go with this particular problem. So two times the square root of five. Again, in math, if you left your problem like this, uh, your teacher will take some points away. You need to fully simplify your square roots and radicals. It's really not optional, especially for the, uh, some of you out there that are. Um, actual students right now. If you're just learning this, you're like, okay, you know, that's fine. But if you are taking exams, quizzes, tests, you got to make sure to fully simplify. 
Okay, now if you want to improve uh, in terms of square roots and learn more about square roots, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel. Also, I have um, links to all my main math courses. Uh, you'll find those um, uh, links in the description. Right now, um, I have uh, a sale going on, 50% off on my pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, uh, Geometry Pre-Calculus courses. I run this sale maybe once a year at most, um, but today is the last day. Now, if you are in it, uh, any one of these levels and you want my best full comprehensive instruction, these are the courses for you. But I uh, just want to remind uh, some of you out there, or maybe some of you didn't even know that I was running a sale. This sale is still active for a good uh, another 24 hours or so. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.